Voyager 1 is the farthest human-made object from Earth, currently 24 billion kilometers away and still moving quickly. It's traveling into deep space 14 times faster than a bullet. Although it went silent last November, NASA recently managed to revive it, and all its systems are now operational again. This got me thinking about how much farther Voyager 1 can go before it runs out of power or we lose contact with it. Hello and welcome to ZE. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Voyager 1 captured a famous image of Earth in 1990. What if we turned on its cameras again today? What would we see? And what happens thousands of years from now if humanity is no longer around in something or someone finds Voyager? Let's take a journey together. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5, 1977, on a mission to explore the outer solar system and study the gas giant planets before venturing into interstellar space. It's challenging to comprehend how far away Voyager 1 is. The distance between the Earth and the Sun, called an astronomical unit, AU, is about 150 million kilometers. Voyager 1, launched in 1977, traveled at 61,000 kilometers per hour, reaching five Australian dollars and 20 cents, the distance to Jupiter, in one year and six months, capturing stunning images. Three years and two months after launch, it reached Saturn and then began its long journey beyond our solar system. Voyager 1 crossed the heliopause boundary, where the sun's influence ends, after 31 years. Today, in 2024, Voyager 1 is 24 billion kilometers away from Earth, or 163 Australian dollars, more than four times the distance from the Sun to Pluto. At this distance, radio signals take 22 hours and 36 minutes to travel each way. Despite its vast distance, Voyager 1 has barely left our cosmic neighborhood. It will take 300 years to reach the Oort Cloud, a distant region of icy bodies, and another 30,000 years to pass through it. Imagine where Voyager 1 might be in a million or a billion years. How do we stay in contact with it as it gets farther away? Remarkably, NASA engineers can still communicate with the spacecraft launched nearly 50 years ago using the Deep Space Network, a system of large antennas in California, Australia, and Spain, chosen to maintain constant communication as Earth rotates. Radio signals take about 20 hours to reach Voyager, where its onboard computers process instructions and send a response, which takes another 20 hours to return. The signal is extremely weak, but massive 70-meter radio dishes on Earth can capture it, allowing us to receive data from Voyager daily. However, signs of aging are showing. Last November, Voyager sent back random data strings. Conspiracy theorists claimed aliens were involved, but engineers found and fixed the problem with the flight data subsystem. Voyager 1 survived. The real issue is Voyager's power supply. It's powered by three radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert heat from plutonium decay into electricity. Over time, the fuel depletes. To conserve power, NASA has been turning off non-essential systems including heaters and redundant instruments like the camera. In a few years, power levels will be too low to support critical systems, and Voyager 1 will go dark, drifting alone through space forever. Before we continue, I'd like to thank ODU for sponsoring this video. ODU offers all-in-one management software for entrepreneurs, including a free website builder. Your first ODU application, whether a website or another tool, is free for life with unlimited hosting and support. You can create a website in four easy steps, and a free custom domain is included for a year if you sign up now. By checking out ODU through the link in the description, you support the channel. On February 14, 1990, Voyager 1 was 6.4 billion kilometers away, leaving our solar system. Carl Sagan campaigned to have Voyager 1 take a final picture of Earth, and NASA agreed. The result was the iconic, pale blue dot image, showing Earth as a tiny speck in a light ray. With Voyager 1 about to go dark forever, what if we turned it around one last time to take a family portrait? Simulations suggest we'd see the sun as a faint, 
surrounded by barely visible planets, showing our cosmic neighborhood. As Voyager 1's operations wind down, we wonder about its future. Once its power is depleted, it will no longer send data, marking the end of an era. Yet, this is just the beginning of its journey. Voyager will travel through the Oort cloud for thousands of years before leaving the solar system completely. It will orbit the Milky Way every 225 million years, passing nearby stars occasionally, a symbol of humanity. If anyone finds Voyager, the golden record on board contains information about Earth, including our location, sounds, and images, serving as a beacon of hope and human achievement. When Voyager finally goes silent, we can agree it accomplished its mission and much more, leaving a legacy for all of humanity. Even if science data won't likely be collected after 2025, engineering data could continue to be returned for several more years. The two Voyager spacecraft could remain in the range of the Deep Space Network through about 2036, depending on how much power the spacecraft still have to transmit a signal back to Earth. In the vast expanse of space, two small spacecraft have been journeying farther than any human-made object has ever traveled. Launched in 1977, the Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 spacecraft have provided humanity with invaluable data about our solar system and beyond. As they continue their journey into interstellar space, a question arises. When will we finally lose contact with Voyager? The journey so far. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were initially designed for a four-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn. However, their mission was extended as they continued to send back valuable data. Voyager 1 is currently more than 14 billion miles away from Earth, while Voyager 2 is over 12 billion miles away. Both spacecraft have crossed the heliopause, the boundary where the solar wind from the Sun meets the interstellar medium. Communication Challenges Communication with the Voyager spacecraft is maintained through NASA's Deep Space Network, DSN, a collection of large antennas located in California, Spain, and Australia. The vast distances involved pose significant challenges. The signals from Voyager, which travel at the speed of light, take over 21 hours to reach Earth from Voyager 1 and nearly 19 hours from Voyager 2. The further they travel, the weaker the signals become requiring increasingly sensitive equipment to detect and decode the data. Power constraints. One of the critical factors determining the lifespan of the Voyager mission is power. The spacecraft are powered by radioisotope thermoelectric generators, RTGs, which convert the heat from the decay of plutonium-238 into electricity. As the plutonium decays, the power output gradually decreases. Currently, the power levels are decreasing by about 4 watts per year. NASA engineers have been shutting down non-essential systems and instruments to conserve power, but it is estimated that by 2025, the power levels will be too low to keep any of the scientific instruments operational. Technical Limitations In addition to power constraints, the spacecraft's aging systems pose a challenge. The technology aboard Voyager is from the 1970s, making it increasingly difficult to maintain and communicate with them. Software updates and modifications are not possible and hardware failures cannot be repaired. Despite these limitations, the spacecraft have far exceeded their expected lifespans and continue to operate in the harsh environment of space. The inevitable loss of contact. Based on current estimates, we are likely to lose contact with the Voyager spacecraft by the mid-2030s. This timeline takes into account the declining power levels and the increasing difficulty of maintaining communication over such vast distances. As the RDGs continue to lose power, even the most basic systems, such as the transmitter, will eventually cease to function. The legacy of Voyager. Even after we lose contact with Voyager, their legacy will endure. The data they have provided has revolutionized our understanding of the outer planets and the heliosphere. The golden records aboard each spacecraft, containing sounds and images representing life on Earth, will continue their journey through interstellar space serving as a time capsule for any potential extraterrestrial civilizations that may encounter them. Conclusion The eventual loss of contact with the Voyager spacecraft will mark the end of an extraordinary chapter in space exploration. While we will no longer receive data from these distant travelers, 
Their contributions to science and their symbolic representation of human curiosity and ingenuity will remain. As we prepare for this inevitable milestone, we can reflect on the incredible achievements of the Voyager mission and look forward to the future of space exploration, inspired by the path they have paved.